there are many applications of queuing system. We are going to discuss the abstract queuing system in the further lecture. The easiest or the simplest uh, queuing model that is a Markovian queuing model that is MM1 queuing model. Later we are going to relate with the birth death process also. In the MM1 queuing model the inter arrival time is exponentially distributed. As I discussed the poison process in the previous lecture, whenever you have a arrival follows a poison process then the inter arrival time follows a exponential distribution and are independent also. So, here the first information is a arrival process follows a poison process with a intensity or rate lambda. That means, uh, the inter arrival times are independent and each one is exponentially distributed with the parameter lambda. The second information that is service time. Service times are exponentially distributed with the parameter mu and the service times are uh, independent for each customers and uh, that is also independent with the arrival process. That means, uh, there is no dependency over the arrival pattern with the service pattern. Service times and the inter arrival times are independent. Then the third information only one server in the system. That is a queuing system in which uh, only one server and the fourth information is missing that means, it is a default it is a infinite capacity model infinite capacity model. Now, our interest is uh, to find out the behavior of a queuing system or the behavior of number of customers in the system at any time t. Therefore, you can define a random variable n of t that is nothing but the number of customers in the system at time t. Therefore, this is going to follow form a stochastic process over the t. Since the inter arrival time is uh, exponentially distributed and the service times are exponentially distributed, the memoryless property is going to be satisfied throughout all the time. Therefore, this stochastic process there is a discrete state continuous time stochastic process satisfying the Markov property. Therefore, this is a Markov process. Since uh, inter arrival time is exponentially distributed and the service time is exponentially distributed and uh, both are independent and the service times also independent for each customers. Therefore, this stochastic process satisfies the memoryless property at all time points. Therefore, this discrete state because the possible values of n of t since it is a number of customers the possible values are 0, 1, 2 and so on countably infinite. So, therefore, it is a discrete state and you are observing the system over the time therefore, it is a continuous time. Therefore, this stochastic process is a discrete state continuous time stochastic process satisfying the Markov property based on these assumptions. Therefore, n of t is a Markov process. Since the state space is a discrete, therefore, this is a Markov chain. Therefore, this is a continuous time Markov chain. Therefore, n of t is a CTMC. So, one can write the state transition diagram for the for this CTMC. That means, the possible states are 0, 1, 2 and so on. So, this will form a nodes and you try to find out what is the rate in which the system is moving from one state to other state. Since it is a MM1 Q model, queuing model, therefore, whenever the system is in the whenever the system is in the state 0, by the inter arrival time which is exponentially distributed, the number of customers in the system will be incremented by 1 therefore, that rate will be lambda or the system moving from the state 0 to 1, it spends exponentially distributed amount of time here before moving into the state 1. Once the system come to the state 1, either 
one more arrival is possible or the customer who is under service then service could have been finished. Therefore, the service time is exponentially distributed with the parameter mu therefore, the system goes from the state to 1 to 0 with the parameter mu. Similarly, from 1 to 2 because of the entire arrival time is exponentially distributed with the parameter lambda therefore, this is lambda. Since the arrival follows a Poisson process in a very small interval of time only one customer is possible with the probability lambda times delta t and so on. Therefore, there is no way the system goes from one state to jump into more than one state that is not possible forward. So, only one step forward is possible because of the arrival process follows a Poisson process and since we have only one servers in the system the system also decremented by only one level below. Therefore, this is going to form a birth death process. The reason for this CTMC going to be a birth death process because of the arrival process follows a Poisson process. So, whatever the assumptions we have it for the Poisson process that is going to be satisfied. And since we have only one server in the system and he does the service for only one customer at a time after finishing that server, after finishing the customer's service then it move into the next service immediately and so on if the customers are available in the queue. Therefore, the system goes to the one state, one state below by only one move only, it would not move from 2 to 0 or 3 to 1 and so on. Therefore, this CTMC is a birth death process. Therefore, I am connecting the CTMC with the MM1 Q in particular the CTMC with the birth death process. Because of the transitions due to arrival or a departure of a customer and only nearest neighbors transitions are allowed because of the assumptions which we have made. Therefore, this is going to be a continuous time Markov chain with the, the rate in which the system moves from the state i to i plus 1 that rate is lambda and the system moves from the state i to i minus 1 that rate is mu and all other rates are going to be 0 other than the diagonal element and this rate is also constant not state dependent rates. Therefore, this is a birth death process with the birth rates lambda and the death rates mu. So, this is a sample path suppose at time 0 one customer in the system then service is over then the second customer customer enter into the system now the number of customers in the system is 1 and so on. So, that means that this duration is the service time for the first customer and from this point to this point that is the inter arrival time of uh, the second customer entering to the system and from this time point to this time point that is the service time for the second customer which is independent of the service time for the first customer and this is the time point second customer enter and this is a time point in which the third customer enters therefore, the inter arrival time is from this point to this point and so on. So, this is the dynamics of a number of customers in the system over the time therefore, this stochastic process is a discrete state continuous time stochastic process satisfying the Markov property therefore, this is a continuous time Markov chain. So, later I am going to simulate the MM1 queuing model using some simulation technique. So, the conclusion is uh, the, under, uh, the underlying stochastic process for the MM1 queuing model is a birth death process the n of t is a stochastic process. So, this stochastic process is, is a birth death process. Therefore, now we are going to discuss the sta stationary distribution, time dependent probabilities and so on. 
So, how to find the stationary distribution? Solve pi q is equal to 0, pi is the vector, consists of a pi i's, where pi i's are nothing but a, what is the probability that n customers in the system, what is the probability that i customers in the system in a long run. So, that long run is defined in this way, the n of t is a stochastic process as a t tends to infinity, the number of customers in the system in a long run that is going to be the n and pi a is nothing but a probability that n i customers in the system in a longer run. So, now we are going to solve pi q is equal to 0 with the normalized equation summation of pi a is equal to 1. So, once you frame the equation you will get a pi 1 in terms of pi naught and the pi i minus 1 in terms of a first pi i then substitute recursively you will get in terms of pi naught. So, since it is a homogeneous equation you will get all pi i's in terms of pi naught. So, use the normalizing equation summation of pi i is equal to 1 you will get pi naught. So, the pi naught is equal to 1 minus rho where rho is lambda by mu and since I am relating this stochastic process with the birth death process with the infinite capacity if you recall the stationary distribution exists uh, as long as the denominator uh, of a pi naught uh, that uh, series converges. So, that will converge only if a lambda by mu is less than 1. If a lambda by mu is greater or equal to 1, then that uh, denominator diverges accordingly you will not get the stationary distribution. So, to have a stationary distribution you need a uh, rho has to be less than 1. That also you can intuitively say whenever the system is stable that is corresponding to rho is less than 1 in that you will have a stationary distribution. That means, uh, in a longer run this is a proportion of the time the system will be empty and the pi n is nothing but uh, the n customers in the system in a longer run that is uh, 1 minus rho times rho power n where rho is less than 1. This rho can be visualized as the offered load also because the rho is nothing but the mean arrival rate and the mu is the mean service rate and this ratio will give the offered load. And uh, 1 minus pi naught that is the probability that uh, the system is non-empty and that is nothing but the server utilization. Server utilization is nothing but what is the probability that the server is busy the server will be busy as long as uh, the system is non empty. So, the rho is the server utilization that can be obtained in the from this formula and in a longer run the server utilization is rho.